just your average Wisconsinite. This is the average Wisconsinite's garage. If you've never fucking seen a Wisconsinite's garage. You got the Kessler bottle fucking hanging from the ceiling. Cool shit. And if you're not from Wisconsin, you probably don't know about the beer bin. But, like, everyone in Wisconsin has, like, a beer bin in their garage of some sort. Or somewhere around their house, you know. Just filled with beer cans. And, well, this is mine. I'm kind of an alcoholic. Well, it runs deep in my family. I'm German. Well, what the fuck you expect? Like, yeah. See that shit? That's fucking Wisconsinite to the fullest. We also got the toolbox. You know? You always gotta got tools because, you know, you're always fixing something because you don't got enough money for a fucking new car. So you're always fucking building, you know, fucking around the shit. Got the fucking wrenches. Got some nice craftsmen's in there, you know. Got a bunch of fucking sockets in here. I'm like, dude, there's like a fucking thousand, like a couple thousand dollars of tools in there. But, you know, you, we always got fucking shit on deck, bro. We're ready. We're fucking an adaptive people. Like, if the apocalypse comes, Wisconsinites are gonna be the one to survive it. Cause we're we're used to the cold. I'll walk outside in the middle of the winter naked. I'll walk outside naked right now. Actually, I won't because I don't need a fucking ticket and be like on the, you know, the list. And that's not cool, you know. So I'm not gonna do that. But you know what I mean. Like I could be fine. I'll walk around in the middle of fucking winter when it's like negative thirty in fucking shorts and a jacket. You know, I'll still wear shorts because I'm a dumbass and that's what I do. But I'll be fine. You know, and a lot of us Wisconsinites, we got fucking, you know, we we party. We party pretty damn hard. And like I did tonight, I drank like fucking 15 beers damn near. But, you know, that's or, that's, a, that's an ordinary life, bro. That's just what, we about that shit around here. Like, fucking chilling by the bike. By the bikes. Yeah, the nice ass Harley Davidson. Not mine. That's my pops. Mine's, I have a piece of shit fucking little mini bike that I ride around town sometimes in the country. It's kind of a pile of shit. Barely works. Need a new tire on that bitch. But you know, whatever. Shit happens. Oh, like fucking, it's nice. Because most people, like, I believe like 60% of the whole world live in a fucking city and that's lame because i can walk outside right now and fucking like walk like around the corner i'm in the middle of the country you know like i'm at the edge of town of like it, the town only has like fucking three thousand people so i can fucking walk to the like fucking around the corner and i'm in the country you know and that's pretty badass but you know, a lot of people don't have that. I mean, yeah, I don't have Starbucks. I don't have all them fucking fancy dancy fucking, you know, restaurants like Chick Fil A, um, In and Out. What else do them fuckers in fucking California and shit have? Fucking Chipotle. You know, the closest thing I got is a fucking subway in town, and if I drive like two towns over, I got a McDonald's. You know, I live in the fucking boonies. I live in the boonies, bro. But, you know, I think I think you grow up a bit more humble. And you respect. You know, you respect things more. Like, I respect wildlife more. I love me some deer. I'm always walking in the woods. Trying to catch me, you know, a glimpse of some deer. You know, I plan on hunting pretty damn soon. But, like, you know, it's not like for, I'm hunting for fun. You know, I want some fucking meat. I want to be in my ancestral roots of fucking hunting an animal with a bow. And then, like, skinning it and all that and, like, eating it. I feel like if you eat meat, if you eat fucking meat, you need to kill the animal. You need to kill an animal and eat it. Because you have no right to eat meat if you've never fucking actually hunted an animal. And, and fuck gun hunting. You know, actually, no. I like, you know, I support, you know, people wanting to gun hunt if that's what you want to do. Because you're not good enough at fucking killing an animal right away. But, you know, if you're going to hunt. I don't know, I feel like bow hunting's the way to go, because then it's like, you know, you're like a fucking caveman, you're out in the woods, you have to track the animal, fucking fall it down a trail, you know, pull out the bow, you know, pull out the arrow, fucking 
you know, kill it quietly, you know, hope it doesn't smell you. Like, there's so many fucking factors in that type of situation. Camouflage, everything, you know. Sound, you can't be a loud fucker or else the fuckers will just run off. Just to think how close you have to be to fucking get a fucking buck with a bow. You know, you gotta be fucking up in its face. And, you know, you got them assholes that, like, put a big pile of fucking bait and, like, food so they all come in. But I think that's kind of, like, a weak pussy version, like... When I plan on starting hunting, you know, I could have started hunting, like, years ago, but haven't really had the time, you know. Been fishing, bruh. Getting them reels in, even though I kind of suck at fishing. I fucking have horrible luck, but, you know, shit's shit. You know, got some fucking poles up there. You know? But, you know, you, I plan on fucking hunting, but I plan on doing it, like, the old-fashioned way. Like a fucking... Native American, or like, you know, I'm German, so, you know, I'm guessing like way back when, you know, they lived in caves too, everyone did, you know, at some point in time, everyone was living in caves, I'm guessing they fucking, you know, they didn't have guns, so they would just fucking grab a bow and just be like, Pow! fucking hit the fucking deer in the side of the neck or some shit, you know, but that's the thing, like, I w if I was hunting, I'd want to fucking kill the animal instantly. You know, because I'd feel bad if I had to suffer. And I would use every part. I'd use its guts for fucking bait, for fishing. And I would use its fucking meat, eat that shit. And I would wear its skin. You know, I'd make like a coat or something out of its skin. You know, I'd use every part. Because I feel like, at, like I've been seeing a lot of shit on Facebook. Of like fuckers like shooting giraffes, lions and shit. That's fucking lame. If you fucking kill a fucking like endangered species, you're a cuck. You're a fucking faggot. You're a douchebag. You're a limp dick motherfucker. I don't know if you're a chick, you're just a cunt. Like, if you're gonna fucking kill an animal that's endangered, literally fuck you. Fuck you. I have I have no fucking thing again. Like, I have no, nothing for you, like, besides, like, suck, suck yourself off and fucking crawl in a hole, you know? Like, that's douchey. But, yeah. America's been kind of going to shit. Saw Trump just passed a new law that burning the American flag would be illegal. And I'll tell you how I feel about that in my drunk rambling state right now. It's some bullshit. Like, if I buy something with my money, I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want with it, right? Like, personally, I wouldn't burn the American flag because I have family that fucking went to war and some of them died, you know, don't come back. But, like, if someone buys it, like a flag, and you gotta think, them flags aren't like, they're not handcrafted by a fucking veteran that's like bleeding out, like, this is for America, I'm building this flag, like all them flags you buy are made out of like, fucking plastic fucking fibers, and they're like made by some billionaire that's trying to make money off the fucking patriotism thing, like if you go to any other country, you don't see people flying flags, like, yeah! Yeah, like if you go to Britain, you don't see them fucking like flying the Britain flag, like standing up for the anthem, crying like, Aah. you don't see that shit. And like, like this fucking Confederate flag right there. That's fucking lame. My dad put that up. Me and him had like a three hour argument. He was like, oh, well, it looks kind of cool. And I was like, well, you're kind of cheering for the losing team. Like our state, like my state. We fucking whooped them confederate pieces of shit's asses. We did. We fucking sent them running the other way. But like, why would you put up that flag? It's the losing team. That's like flying a fucking Golden State Warriors flag after the fucking Kawhi fucking shot threes all over fucking Curry's ass. You know? And like, I'm fucking saying that as a Wisconsinite. Like, the fucking Raptors whooped the Bucks ass like when they shouldn't have. But they did. And fucking good for them. Fuck Drake, though. He's kind of a douchebag. I never liked his music, but whatever. But, like, you know, they whooped it. They whooped our ass. And I was like, well, good for them. I hope they win. And they did. And, you know what? Good for them. At least we lost the fucking winning team, you know? Like, we didn't lose to, like, a team that ended up losing in the championships. Because that just proves, like, if we would have bent the... Beat the fucking... Yeah, if we would have bent the fucking Raptors over and fucked them. <laughs> But if we would have beat the fucking Raptors, you know, 
we would have gone to the fucking, you know, championships, and we probably would have won. I feel like Giannis would have dunked all over fucking Curry, fucking KD. I don't think he was in the game, so, and all of them. Like, fucking, we would have been dunking all over them, fucking Thompson, all of them. But, like, you know, we didn't make it, but, you know, that's fine. Next year we're going to win. <laughs> I'm a little lost in fucking panic thought right now. I don't really panic, I'm just drunk as fuck, but. You know, going on these rambles. I like I like going on rambles. Like that's kind of what this channel's all about is fucking rambling, rambling about random shit, shit that doesn't matter. You know, just fucking keeping talking about what I think about. I've been seeing a lot of dumb shit on the news though. Like there's some shit fucking wrong with the media right now. Like they're constantly just fucking talking about dumb shit. Like. Like, yesterday, I fucking saw a dumbass fucking video. This fucking video of fucking this bitch who must have, like, a bunch of Instagram followers or something. And she was, like, showing off her booty. And, like, she was like, oh, everyone fucking pay for my premium Snapchat. And I was sitting there like, who the fuck would actually pay for a premium Snapchat? Like, you gotta be one thirsty motherfucker. If you're gonna fucking look at a fucking bitch at bitch and be like oh i want to see her naked so i'm gonna pay fucking 50 bucks a month so i can see her ass on occasion Are you fucking kidding me are you that fucking desperate like you can't go on pornhub and wank it there's fucking so many porn websites where you can see fucking pussy titties ass dick whatever you like you know you can see trans shit too if you're into that you know i'm not knocking you i'm into it all you know fuck it but like you know like I don't know, I just think that's so fucking thirsty if you're fucking sitting there and you're paying a bitch like 50 bucks a month just to see your tit, a, a nip slip, you know? Or if you're, a, if you're a chick and if a dude was like doing the same thing. Imagine if a dude actually did that. If a dude went on fucking Facebook or fucking Twitter or Instagram or something and was like, Hey, I'll show you my dick if you get my premium Snapchat. Would you actually do it? Would you? Like... No, no one fucking would. No chick would. They'd be like, what the fuck? No, you. I'll fucking go on fucking Pornhub. Or if I really have to, you know, I could probably find a guy. Or if a dude, same thing with a dude, it should be. Like, if a dude, dude, if you're fucking that fucking thirsty, there's fucking things called fucking, you know, there, there, there's, there's girls out there, you know, just go to a fucking, like, bar, a fucking store, anything, just like start up a conversation at work, you know, with a girl you work with, just start up a conversation, but don't be weird about it, because you don't want to be a fucking creep, because that's fucking weird, but like, you know what I mean, like, <sighs> oh fuck, I'm fucked up, it's just a long ramble, but, you know, like, I don't know, I have a big thing against thirsty motherfuckers, it's like, I'm ugly as fuck, like, I don't, I, I fucking admit it, but, like, I'm not fucking thirsty. You don't see me sitting there fucking drooling over a bitch like... <laughs> like a fucking dog. Like, just fucking waiting for its next me meal. Fucking drool fucking down my fucking chin. Down to the floor. Just like... <sighs> breathing out my mouth like I'm fucking some 80-year-old man that fucking has to pull out the fucking respirator to breathe or some shit. You know? <laughs> but, you know... I guess. There's there's a lot of fucked up people in this world. A lot of weirdos. I've seen it in my life. Shit, dude. I went to school with a couple of them fuckers. And once I graduated, I fucking met, I met more of them fuckers, you know. Walking around. Talking to people. You know, that's what kind of what I do, you know. Fucking try meeting the next person, you know. See what happens. But like, you know. No need to be thirsty, y'all. Guy or a girl. It's fucking weird. Stop it. Peace. Fuck you. I'm out.